Hello, we're talking about radiators again today and uh, some of the reasons why you may want to remove them from time to time. Now the obvious ones are decorating, painting behind the radiator, tiling behind the radiator, plastering, refixing the brackets, changing the skirting board over, maybe just cleaning it or taking the radiator off outside to, to flush it out. But there are certainly times in the radiator's life where it needs to come, across, uh, come off the wall. So um, I can assure you that it is, it is better and worth the effort to take the radiator off because you get a nice uh, cleaner, tidier job behind it. So um, what we're going to do here is take the radiator off using the rag clamps obviously with the water still inside. So as you can see on that end there we've, uh, we've attached the rag clamp and the water's um, clamped in. So I'll quickly show you again how to do this end. Just slip your clamp on like that in the bottom corner, get your guide rod, push that in, place a cloth underneath to catch any drips, isolate the radiator at both ends, make sure that's fully clockwise down, go to your air, uh, bleed, vent, uh, bleed vent at the top, undo it to release any excess pressure and it's very important that you close that off. The next thing we do is un slacken off the union nut in between here, so use the rad wrench and the rad spanner just slacken that off keep a little bit of finger pressure on it there and then we're going to insert the the rad seal which is that which is um, very very thin it's less than a millimeter thick which will quickly go in between and trap the water inside the radiator so quickly pull that away you might get a few drops and that's it slotted in less than one second hardly any water at all came out slide the guide rod up to the fork give it half a turn like like that push it over that way to stretch it and tighten up the pinch screw there now like I said the radiator is now disconnected very simple to take it off get a couple of blocks of wood on the floor uh, in the corner of your room and just stand it over there um, ready for reconnecting because when you reconnect it you can just um, rehang it on the wall when you've done your work and reconnect it as quick as you as you disconnected it so you're keeping all your fur knocks your your uh, your inhibitors um, it's, it's, it's it's always a good idea to keep the existing water in the radiator because there's less oxygen in it there's less chance of it rusting and of course there's no refilling necessary so i'm going to show you now the job that's that was will, will be achieved when you take the radiator off so i'll take the radiator off like that and there you can see nice tidy job all nice and clean no dust, reflective foil which will reflect your uh, heat back into the room. Um, so I'll just put the radiator to one side like that and um, I, can sh I can show you now what will happen if you choose not to take the radiator off, what is actually behind most radiators should you do it the other way and just leave the radiator on which is that's the sort of thing you'll find behind your radiator if you don't take it off. So there that's how you do it it's as simple as that um, you can either have it like that behind your radiator uh, dust trap spiders paper flicking off or you can take the radiator off and end up with a, a nice tidy job like that choice is yours thanks for watching